Hello everyone. Uh, for today lab, uh, I have combination of uh, work uh, by you, and uh, at uh, at the beginning, I want you to uh, listen to this pre-recorded section, and I describe to you uh, how is the structure of uh, this week lab. Uh, as I explained, we are going to uh, have virtual PLC labs and uh, in order to uh, have that possible in our laptops we are going to need to install three uh, different softwares from one package and uh, i have tried to explain it uh, with this link here uh, under lab uh, week three lab content um, the pictures are not uh, loaded for i don't know what reason but I try to fix, uh, I'm trying to show uh, exactly step by step how you can install uh, the software. Um, this link is a good source. This is the Rockwell Automation uh, website. I'm just going to show you uh, briefly uh, how to uh, access the file. I go back there. And open there so I'm just copying and pasting it in my browser so when you go uh, on the main page of Rockwell Automation there's a place for downloads so you click on uh, downloads and remember this package is the free package so it is very important to write the name properly otherwise uh, something comes up uh, that is not free and then uh, once you uh, download it it is asking for uh, mm, license which we don't have now uh, you should type rs logics uh, micro store tier and then two of them comes up you need to click on the uh, en for english and then you click on the download here and then here you open it up and you come down uh, from the video that I watched on YouTube uh, it seems that version 11 is a good one so when you click on this then this window opens so here uh, what we need is three of these so at the very uh, bottom side uh, we have this uh, classic light uh, this is the one that is uh, establishing the communication then we need the emulator so you need to tick them i'm not going to do it again because i already installed it on my computer i'm just showing to you and then this one these are the essential parts and uh, so you click on the download and then uh, you end up with the page of terms and conditions that you accept and then uh, there is a page for download and then uh, a group of uh, zip files uh, will be downloaded on your computer at at the beginning it seems a bit complicated but after a few times doing it and trying to extract and extract and extract over time then uh, you will find the the file that is working uh, just um, to be reminded that uh, once you complete the download and installation you need to have a restart uh, for your computer uh, otherwise you wouldn't see uh, the software coming to your uh, start menu or uh, anywhere so that is very important after you have that done so um, you will have uh, the emulator and the light and the RS logic there is nothing much to do about the emulator only about uh, when you uh, open the RS logics, uh, just similar uh, tasks that we do for. Uh, I let's let's start all over again. I show you what do I mean by that. So um, the for the communication uh, for the system communication, uh, this is the part uh, that was important in the video that I put the link it explains how this computer is uh, defined here we do that from the light software um, so 
this connection is established here as you can see now uh, once you have uh, arrived to this uh, the main uh, macro starter kit so uh, you can open a new file and uh, well uh, you I, I don't know but I, I found out that, that when I select uh, these uh, macro processors uh, it doesn't work with um, our emulator so I select this one and uh, I'm just going to uh, make the simplest diagram uh, something that I asked to do for the uh, project number one for week two if you remember so I have one contact here and then I have a uh, uh, output there so we are going to stick to the addresses for example I'm going to put this here and I'm going to call it a start and then a similar way I'm going to use uh, my uh, just calling it light and then now I'm just going to verify it, no error, I'm happy. I'm just going to uh, imagine that I'm connected to uh, mm, to hardware. So I save it and just same process that happens uh, when we are connected to hardware. We have the same ability here and then by having the green light uh, on power grid, I imagine that I'm connected and I'm in run mode. So I want all of you uh, to have at least this project done on your computer and when I have a live section start at 12 o'clock today so I will ask you to share your computer and show it to me. So um, the way that we are going to test uh, our program is we select the contact and then you right click and then you uh, select the force on that means that I'm holding I'm pressing my finger on the contact or the switch and then holding it down now I take it off the force is off and the light goes off as you can see so um, I will explain how to make it more advanced how to do the latching and how to add the, the stop button so I see you guys at 12 o'clock thank you bye